Hey guys, um, so we're working on the 12 valve again. Um, I don't have a bunch of stuff to do right at the moment. It's getting close to the end of the day. I will do another video, hopefully tomorrow. We'll get uh, some more stuff done to it. Maybe get the injection pump painted. I'm still waiting for the valve covers to come back, uh, the intake plate and a few other things. But anyways, we'll do a little bit of stuff, kind of play around. Um, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna install the injectors um, and then we're also gonna install the oil pump. Not a crazy, but for you guys that wanna see how I do it, this is how I do it. So, something to start with. So, when you, if you guys buy a set of injectors from me, um, if they're performance injectors, because these are the kits that I buy and I don't send all the injectors. Um, if they're performance injectors, I will be sending these thin washers. They're not very thick washers. Now, if it's a stock injector, you'll be going to the middle size. And then there's the really fat ones, which I don't use for anything. But um, just so you guys are aware, um, I'll only send you the ones that I want you to run on the injectors. Um, so you don't have to worry about picking any. And I'll show you how, um, like I said, how I install these. So that's the kit that I buy. And like I said, I'll send you the pieces that you need um, in the kit anyways. So... So the injectors that we're putting in this engine um, are cl I classify as my my 4550 horse um, injector. They are a six hole nozzle with the pop pressure set five p or five bar over um, the original pop pressures. Um, they do run really nice. They seem to make decent power. They don't smoke. Uh, they are VOC um, nozzle. So. This is the injector. I didn't polish these ones up real well. It's one of those things. I don't, if I don't have time to polish them, not all of my injectors will be polished like I showed in my one video, um, but I always make sure they're clean. Um, just depends if I have time. It does take extra time to polish them and I don't charge extra for doing it. So they don't always polished. But, so this is the injector, meaning that this isn't a crazy performance engine by any stretch. We will be using the medium size washers. Now, the holes I know are already clean, but you want to, you got to make sure those holes are clean because if they're not spotless, your injector will leak. Um, and I know I get the question all the time. So now what I do, there again, lots of guys don't do this. This is what I do. I cover the injector in anti-seas. And the reason that I do that is they don't get stuck in there. So... Um, if you guys don't want to, that's fine. Don't do it. I do it. But I don't. I find that they don't rust in there that way. And I put a little tiny bit across the bottom. Um, there again, you don't have to. This is just what I do. I try not to get too much on the nozzle. Apparently that one I didn't do a very good job. But So washer is on there. As long as your injector hole is clean. And something that you do want to watch here. I'll grab another one here. Um, is that this... This little ball, this little ball goes down inside the injector hole. Uh, hold on a sec. Got too much stuff in my hands. So you can see that little notch down inside there. Oh, uh, maybe you can't. This little notch right there, I don't know if you'll be able to see it hard maybe because the light's so bright. But there's a little notch for that, that to go in. So you just have to, you just have to get them set in there to do so. And like I said, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, uh, I'll get these things all done. And then uh, I'll, um, I think I'll put you guys into time lapse for this. Uh, just so you don't have to watch it. Something else I do, same thing as I go, I put anti seas all the way around the nut. And you just put the nut down, get the nut started. So, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to throw in a time lapse, put the other five in. Uh, I'm going to just do the exact same thing I did with this one. And then I'll bring you guys back when I put the, um, the rubber wall for the last rubber o ring and for torquing the last one. So I'll throw you guys on time lapse and then uh, we'll catch you in a bit. All right guys, so 
to uh, I got all the other ones torqued, the final torque, because I do them in two processes. So we got that torque there now. So the next thing to do is, and I torque those two, depending on the application, but these ones I torqued at 50. Um, you can go higher if you have a leak, you can torque them more. Um, about 50, 55, I think the actual spec is 42. Or you can just do them tight, if that's what you want. Um, being that I put a little bit of anti-seize on them, it actually loads them harder uh, because that's how lube works on threads. Um, now, so this washer, you just slide the wa that washer on there. I didn't mention that. I was talking about something else. Um, you just slide the, the that little dust washer seal in there. And then all I do is just quickly take a screwdriver and push it down inside there. And it keeps some of the garbage from going in there. But the uh, anti-seize, especially on first-gen trucks, have problem with number five injector doesn't like to come out. Well, five and six, actually. Um, like to get really stuck. If we put any C's in them, I find that they never get stuck. So um, just thought I'd mention that. So that's installing the injectors. It's not really rocket science. If you need to, uh, I'll, I'll go through a little bit when we, we're putting the pump and stuff on, pulling stuff off, because we still have to put the lines and then the return line has to go in there, but I'm not gonna do that until I have the intake plate and obviously the injection pump and stuff on. So um, oil pump. So this is the oil pumps that I use, the melling oil pump. Um, this is one for a 24 valve uh, VP44. They're a little bit have a little bit bigger uh, gear unit in them or stator some people call them I usually call it a stator, but something that I do um, With them it, now providing the engines not going to sit for a long time If it is I wouldn't recommend using uh, lithium grease because it goes hard But this engine's not going to sit for that long What I do is fill that cavity the cavities inside here up with grease because if you do that then it has instant, well, I shouldn't say instant, but it's, it pulls oil a lot faster and a lot easier. Now, something else I do is there's a hole in the middle of here. The oil actually does, it forces through here and, and lubes this gear under pressure. So what I do is I put a little bit through there. And then you'll get uh, a little bit of lube on that on that gear in there pretty quick. And you can, you know, actually lube the gears a little bit if you want to. But, so putting the bolts in, um, not really too hard. Now the oil pump itself, um, the oil pump itself, let me lower you guys down here. So putting the oil pump in, it's pretty simple. The oil pump does not have a gasket or anything like that. You just slide it in the hole, give it a tap of your hand to make sure it's seated, or you can use a dead blow if you want. Loctite, I put Loctite on the bolts. Just need a drop or two, because everything's nice and clean. I just start them on my fingers, just a thread or, you know, thread or two. And I just snug them up like that, you know, just kitty corner, kitty corner. Because you want to make sure that it's flat on there because it does actually pull across there. Now, torquing those, I torque them at 25.
and you just crisscross the uh, the torque or the sequence I should say doesn't matter which corner you start in I don't think but that's how I do it and then that's it for the oil pump pretty simple like I said you can put a little bit of um, if you want you can put a little bit of uh, a little bit of grease on the gears I don't think it really makes a difference. A little tiny bit it run that it's going to run dry isn't going to hurt them. But that much is more than enough. Just a little, a little schmoo of it. So, anyways, I think we're going to call it on this one. Um, I didn't want I didn't want to make the video too long, so did the injectors, uh, oil pump, um, torqued that stuff. Showed you how I install the injectors. Um, hopefully tomorrow. Um, sorry, we've been, I've been crazy busy at the shop, so it's just kind of trying to get stuff on the, trying to get everybody, keep everybody happy. Um, I think tomorrow, hopefully we can, uh, we'll put the front cover on, put the, um, injection pump gear in there and see about starting to put some of the stuff on. I got a little bit of red paint, so there's a few things I'm going to paint red. Um, and, uh, yeah, we'll get this thing on the go. Hopefully we can have it running here pretty quick. Um, I'd like to, uh. I like to get it all mounted on a stand. I'm going to build a stand. Actually, that's something. Can you guys let me know? Uh, I'm going to build a stand um, for this that has wheels on it. Uh, if you guys would like me to uh, show building the stand, um, let me know in the comments. Uh, like, subscribe. Um, subscribe, hit the bell notification so you know when I'm putting new videos out. And we'll catch you on the next one.